Volkswagen is perpetually late to the SUV party. That much we knew already. The Volkswagen Touareg came late, and what was improperly positioned. The Volkswagen Tiggin was much later, and it too was overpriced and undersized. The Volkswagen Atlas, the brand's first three-row crossover, only arrived in America this spring. The Volkswagen T-Roc was clearly not the first guest to arrive, either. The Nissan Juke, Mini Countryman, Subaru Crosstrek, Buick Encore, Chevrolet Trax, Jeep Renegade, Fiat 500X, Honda HR-V, and Mazda CX-3 have been collecting U.S. sales for years. But it's not as though Volkswagen was the only major automaker late to the party. Ford Zico Sport still isn't here, the Hyundai Kona and Kia Stonic were unveiled only recently, and Toyota's CHR is a fresh release that lacks an all-wheel drive option. But the Volkswagen T-Roc, revealed last week, will be more than just late to the party. In the United States, the Volkswagen T-Roc has returned its invitation by ticking the wrong box. Regret to decline. Volkswagen of America has confirmed to TAC that the Volkswagen T-Roc will not come to the United States, probably not ever. But it's highly unlikely that Volkswagen will leave the Tiggin Limited, the new decontented, low-priced Tiggin that's already been replaced by a new Tiggin, to take the fight to America's growing fleet of subcompact utility vehicles. Instead, expect a different small utility.